Welcome to Dai Headlines. I'm Dennis Wu. Thank you for joining us. Tropical storm Phong Wan swept across the Philippines in mid-September, triggering severe flooding throughout the northern and central Philippines. After successfully helping the affected residents of San Mateo, Rizo province, clean up their community by launching its Cash for Work program, Cixi volunteers have returned once again to host three large-scale distributions, helping over 4,700 affected families. Crowds gather outside the stadium, while inside it is full to the brim. San Mateo residents, whose lives have been affected by the recent tropical storm Feng Wang, are awaiting the start of Tsuji's distribution. We hope, uh... we hope that my constituents in San Mateo will all be inspired by the Tsuji Foundation and stand up again. Angelus donates 50 pesos, which is the equivalent of a day's income into the Bamboo Coin Bank. As Angelus has limited mobility, he set out for the distribution venue along with his seven-year-old grandson while it was still dark outside. I can walk fast because I'm crippled, so I left home before sunrise. I don't have a flashlight, so I could only find my way through the dark. By the time we arrived, it was already daylight. Upon receiving Tsuji's 20 kilogram bag of rice, a mattress, and mosquito net, volunteers help Angeles carry the supplies home. Crossing a river and walking for miles on foot, they finally arrive at his home. What was left of the rice in his bucket was only enough to make some porridge. Facing the same plight is another flood survivor, Gloria Santos. Volunteers make their way through a narrow alley before arriving at a dark and dilapidated home. Now that the flood waters have receded, the entire home is covered in mud stains. Responding to the urgent needs of survivors, Taiwanese inventor Deng Hongji was deeply moved by Tsuji's compassion. I saw many flood survivors who were deeply moved by Tsuji's love. They are so full of gratitude for Master Zheng Yan. I feel that the distribution was very effective. In one day's time, working from morning to evening, Philippines Tsuji volunteers completed three large-scale distributions in San Mateo, aiding close to 5,000 families. First initiating a cash for work program followed by large scale distributions, what continues to accompany local residents through times of need is Tsuji's selfless love. Staying in the Philippines, it will soon be the one year anniversary of Typhoon Haiyan. However, many victims remain homeless. Thus, Tsuji has been doing its best to build prefabricated homes in Taiwan before sending them to the Philippines to be assembled. Besides those being built in Omak City, 250 units of the prefabs will also be built in the town of Palo, where 150 locals have signed up to join Tsuji's Cash for Work program to help expedite the process. Yes, sir. How many? 150. 150. 150. One. 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 Mark and his crew of seven are quite familiar with the assembly of Tsuji's prefabricated homes after having learned the skill in Manila. Now that Tsuji is building 250 homes in Palo, Mark's team can put those skills to use. I'm very glad to have this opportunity to give and assemble these prefabricated homes with everyone. One person alone cannot do much, but by uniting our strength, we can accomplish a lot more. For Leonardo and Rito, who has helped assemble prefabricated classrooms at an earlier date, they find working on their prefabricated homes is not necessarily easier. The concept of these prefabs is quite different, but I will try hard to learn. We hope to finish them soon so my fellow countrymen will have a place to live. Due to language barriers, mishaps do happen from time to time. Though we don't speak the same language, we still try to communicate. I've worked with the volunteers before when I helped assemble prefab classrooms. I'm very touched that the volunteers came all the way from Taiwan. 
to help out Typhoon Haiyan victims. Actually, six of the homes had been completed by the time the team from Taiwan arrived. They worked really hard to put together these six homes. We were touched when we saw them. We can tell they want to help those displaced by the typhoon find a home. Sharing a common goal, both local residents and city volunteers are uniting their efforts on behalf of Haiyan victims. Go, go, go!